what really to me increasingly matters about where innovation goes, where the web goes, and where I see hope is kids. And I've got a, a nine-year-old and a 12-year-old, and, a 12 and you know, they get the internet better than any of you. And they certainly get the internet better than me. They know what it's for, and they know what it's about. But you know, at the same time, you know, what they're growing up on you know, is kind of famous, that this is now the best baby toy on the planet, right? Is that you hand this to a kid, and they know how it works. But they actually don't. They don't know how it works in the way that all of us do, because it's kind of shiny and hard to get inside. <laughs> So it's, it, in my opinion, we really need to move kids from being able to use the web to actually being able to make things on the web. And when the web first kind of came onto the scene, it was something that invited us to make a web page or understand how it worked because it was pretty rudimentary. And now as we get all these kind of shiny devices, which don't get me wrong, I love the shiny devices, kids don't really see, and many of us don't really see, how it works. I think it's really important, you know, both for uh, you know, the, the web itself, but also just for skills in our economy, that as many of us as possible understand at least the basic mechanics of the web, could make a simple web page, but also, you know, that's the foundation of eventually making a great piece of software or making a business. And that's something that, as much as I'm hopeful about our kids being the thing that will turn Toronto into Renaissance Venice, uh, I'm also a little bit worried because when we all grew up, well, I'll just talk about me, um, when I all grew up, uh, the, you know, it was kind of with a lot of punk rock and DIY ethic, maybe that's not everybody in here, but I also grew up with that beautiful sound, almost as beautiful as punk rock. Does everybody remember the sound of the modem connecting? <laughs> and you remember how often it failed? Like you redial, redial, and you're trying to connect. And then you remember the first time you installed Mosaic or Netscape? Right? These rudimentary web browsers were like a revelation. Look, there's pictures on a computer screen from across the internet. And, and you know, maybe there's some people younger than me here who don't remember that. But that was like how you know, myself and frankly everybody who is running an important tech company in the world first experienced the internet. The Hackasaurus program that we have that lets kids remix a web page, you can show that to a 10-year-old and they get it. And not only do they get it, they have an aha. They go, oh, a web page is not just this thing that comes at me like the television. It's something that I can actually change and express myself through. The thing that I'm increasingly interested in is how do we actually re-engage that ethos of web making? And imagine that those skills of pulling things apart and expecting the internet to be something I can open up and play with and manipulate are actually the expectations of our children and also are the formation of the skill set of our children, both the technical skill set, the ability to understand the mechanics of the internet uh, and make things out of code, and the ethos of the internet that I can take building blocks from other places and put them together. Those are the things that great tech companies are built from. Those are things that we want to bring back to our children. So if we want to move kids from using the web to making the web, what we need to do is tap into their passion, right? They actually get the web in, in many ways better than we do because they're on there all the time, they're talking to each other, they're uploading videos. And you want to use those things and then add around that the ability to hack a little bit. But we believe and this is one thing that needs to happen amongst thousands. We believe that what we need to do is reach out to kids to help them discover the basic mechanics of the web, help some of them move on to become coders, because that is the basis of the skills they're going to need to lead these companies, and also the skills that we're going to want them to have to keep the internet an open and free resource, which is the basis of all of the wealth and creativity that we have created through these companies. That's the key thing, is take what kids are doing already on the web and add a little bit of coding.